Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Soccer Bond Express. So this is a puzzle game based on chemistry and I did A level chemistry and honestly it was probably like the hardest thing I ever learnt. Like engineering has nothing on chemistry. It is absolutely solid and liquid and gas and plasma if you want to get into that. Anyway let's get into it. So we start off here. We're a lovely little hydrogen atom. I imagine is this like the path we're taking and then we're going to bond with that hydrogen atom. So when we go past this and we join, yeah, can you see like that gray outline? I think that's like what we become. So we become a hydrogen molecule. Bear in mind, I am done chemistry in about 20 years, 15 years, a lot of years. So let's press play and yay, we get a bond. Oh, and then we get a fun fact. Fun fact with Matt. Smartphones are stuffed with elements. One device was estimated to use around 75 elements. That's roughly two thirds of the whole periodic table. Wow, that's that's a lot of a lot of elements actually. Anyway, what do we have here? We got some oxygen, we've got some hydrogen. So I imagine we're going to make water, H2O. So is this game just about drawing paths to get, yeah, to get the, the, the molecule we want? So we just do that, right? And am I right in remembering that like a, a bond between oxygen and hydrogen? Isn't it like a bond and a half or something? Like it's a really, it's a strong bond, isn't it? Or am I misremembering that? I don't know. It's been so long since I did chemistry. No, I think they just look like normal bonds. Oh, fun fact with Matt. Some chemical elements are considered endangered. The indium we use to make smartphone touchscreens work is one of them. What does endangered mean? Well, tell me what endangered means, game. Wait, I'm meant to be the teacher. You don't need to know why. They're not going to ask that in the exam, right? Right, so nitrogen, we got three, three bonds to make. Hang on, why are they spinning around? Do I need to worry that they're spinning? So can I just go in, get all my bonds and then just, oh, I can't keep going. We can't keep moving forwards is one thing. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm understanding the puzzle aspect now. <laughs> so if we go down first. Yeah, okay. So we can't move into that. We can move around this though. So we can go, actually, we could go up and around this way and then we get a join there. Then we go down, get that one. And then in there, then we've got NH3, uh, also known as ammonia. But our fun fact with Matt is about helium. Helium was one of the first things to exist in the universe. Humans use it in hospital scanners, deep sea diving, party balloons, and to give themselves squeaky voices. <laughs> It's so squeaky. Anyway, right. This time we've got carbon, four hydrogen, CH4. Pretty sure that's like methane, is it? So, ooh, 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 we didn't get a bond there. Why didn't we get a bond on that one? Bond to me, bond. Oh no, we did. We got it. Okay, it's straight ahead. Okay, we've done the bottom and the right side. I get this now. So now that's the top side. Then we go to there. That's the left side. So that's all of our bonds done. Oh no, we can only join from the bottom. Oh, in which case? Oh no, I can't go that way. Yeah, that means that will smash into that one, doesn't it? Oh no. Okay, so we have to go. Oh, we could go around. Yeah, actually, I think we, we go around. So if we go down to there. Oh, we could actually go around the bottom, right? Does it matter how long this is? So we could go over to that to get the left one and then we've just got it. Oh no, I've smashed it again. Oh no, I keep smashing stuff. I wonder, can I cross over myself? So if I go there, then that way. No, I can't cross over, but we could go from there, then right then down and that way. Yes, now we've done it. Cool, that one made me think. So you can see that's why we have to go around this side so we don't like smash and knock our knock our hydrogens off. That's why we have to go right there just to get it out the way. Ah, oh, this is cool. Fun fact with Matt. Helium is rare on Earth, but abundant elsewhere in the universe. Wait, it's rare on Earth? Why are we like using it to make our voices go high then? That makes no sense. Humans are dumb. Some people believe that mining on the moon could be a viable alternate source. Hang on, if it's so rare that we're thinking about going to the moon to mine, it. Why are we just filling balloons with it? What? <laughs> <laughs> or is that why? Because the population's growing and we need more balloons so that we can celebrate more birthdays. But we're running out of helium because there's so many birthdays, so many balloons. That's probably what it is. Anyway, this next one, CH2O, uh, which honestly, I have no idea what, what that is in terms of naming. Um, but worth noting, the oxygen has has a double bond. So there's two that come off there. So we got to we got to think about this, haven't we? So let's go. Let's go around this way, then get that hydrogen there. Then we can go. And how do I even go about getting a double? We go down. Oh, just, just double, just, just double bonds onto it. Okay. So we've only got the top to get in there. But I think if we go left, down, 
down, then over that way. Yeah, then the top's joined. And then we can just go down and loop around to get into there. So when we play this, you'll see as we collect that, that's facing downwards. Then the oxygen's facing that way, hence we move out. Then we got that up the top. Then there's nothing else to crash into. Okay, cool. Fun fact with Matt. Most chemical elements are formed by stars. These elements spread around when the stars explode and can become new things. You are actually made from stardust. Anyway, we've completed the alpha set of levels. We're now onto the beta set. Set. So, oh, we got green lines, green lines. We got to make, oh, just H2O again. Oh, but look, is this because I've only got one joint? If I connect to the H, can I still connect to the O? No, I can't. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, that does actually make sense. So we've got to go to the oxygen first. And then we've got to get the other hydrogen. Okay, we can't go that way though. I reckon we probably got to go... Oh, I don't actually know. I don't actually know. Where do we go? Because I can't go anywhere near this hydrogen or we'll bond to it. So if we go... Hang on, let's say to there. Then we can come around this way, right? So if we go down... No, we can't go down because our bond is off the oxygen. I could come over to there. Oh yeah, and then just move down and then... Oh yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. The spot. Viral. So if we watch out, we get the oxygen, we get that. Nice. So we connected like indirectly. Fun fact with Matt. Natural rubber doesn't just come from rubber trees. Soviet scientists discovered you can actually extract a species of dandelion and use it to make tires. O only during World War II. Do not try it at home now. That's actually like a really like anti-hippie thing to do. Like all, all the hippies like trying to stop war like with their dandelions in the hair. And then like the Soviets come along like, we'll take your dandelions, we'll make tires out of it. <laughs> all right. Anyway, next level. Oh, look, we've got got a bridge in the middle. We've got a bridge. So we got to make HO2, which is hydrogen dioxide. Oh no, yeah. H there's another there's another hydrogen over there. So H2O2 hydrogen dioxide. Wait, is it dioxide or is it peroxide? I would have thought it's dioxide because there's two oxygens, but I have a feeling is that Hang on, I need to actually google this. Hang on. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it would be dihydrogen dioxide, right? Cuz water is dihydrogen monoxide. Mon being one oxygen, dioxide being two oxygens, and then the H2. Okay, oh man, I'm getting confused. I'm getting so confused. Right, how do we do this one? <laughs> Forget about the names. This is why chemistry was so hard. Like, anyway, we've got our hydrogen. We've got our two oxygens. I don't know how I'm going to connect down there, though. I guess we'll go across the bridge, and then we may need to go, like, yeah, down to there, across, and then all the way up, like that. So when we play it, we get the oxygen. That's got one bond left. Get the other oxygen. That's got one bond left. That gets the hydrogen. And yeah, Google says this is called hydrogen peroxide. I guess because dihydrogen dioxide just is it's a bit of a mouthful, I guess. Anyway, bacteria can do more than just make us sick. Metal absorbing species could help clean up metal pollution or recover valuable metals from electronic waste. So many facts in this game. Right, let's go do level three. So NHO2 and we're starting with the oxygen. I don't know. I don't know what this chemical is called. Probably some sort of nitric acid. Yeah, nitric acid, baby. Don't know. All right, we've got to end up there. So if we go to the hydrogen first, and that's fine. We can hang over the edge. I'm thinking go around the back and we got nitrogen there. All right, so then we just loop around and get the oxygen. Yeah, like that. That's double bond to the oxygen and then down to there. So hydrogen, then the nitrogen, and then we go over to the oxygen with a double bond. Fun fact with Matt. By coating a boat's hull in copper, you not only protect the wood from destructive shipworms, but the boat will go faster because it's free of weeds and other hangers-on. No Klingons under this boat. All right, nice. We can go on to the gamma levels. I should probably finish the beta ones first. So, oh, no, why do I do this? This one's really long. Ooh, what does this light bulb do? Oh, it shows us the chemical we're trying to make. So, yeah, N2H4. Four. Hang on, I'm gonna have to Google this. I, I want to know what all these things are. Hydrazine. Oh, apparently it's it's rocket fuel. Oh, we're making rocket fuel. Okay, that suddenly makes this a lot more exciting. So, <laughs> so remember, we can only connect to two hydrogens before we have to get that nitrogen. So if we go down that way, and then what if we get that first? No, because that makes a double bond. So if you make a double bond, then you don't have enough bonds to connect to everything else, right? So yeah, we don't we don't have any bonds to connect to any of those. Okay, so let's go back. So if we go to that hydrogen, then that one, you can see we've got one bond remaining on there. So we've got to get to the nitrogen. So if we go 
down and then oops so different approach then what if we go that way then that way now because then we're just going to block the exit aren't we right okay we go down to this one then we go up to that one because look then i'm actually using like the guide shape up the top which i guess i'm meant to use i didn't mean to click on it but now we know what it is so then we go that way to get the nitrogen i guess we can get you on the left like that and then yeah if we go up the top no how do i get that i can't i gotta get that one last i think no oh i'll tell you what i'll tell you what i need to i need to do this like a different orientation if i go down and then up there then i'm like i'm wider i've got like a, a longer bit of well whatever i am <laughs> which means we can go up we can grab that then we can continue and then as we go left look boink that's on our that's on our end so we've got that bit we can then get to the end oh we did it we did it that was blooming hard that one that really made me think fun fact with matt how did the dinosaurs die well sediment from 66 million years ago contained lots of iridium which is rare on earth but common on asteroids space rock jacuzzi i don't know why i did that in song but yeah i, I actually learned like iridium comes from asteroids from a planet crafter so i can guarantee to you this is a true fact hence we're accusing the space rock anyway let's get on to final level of this i'm gonna try not to click the old the old help light bulb so what have we got here nitrogen two oxygens and hydrogen so nho2 so if we get the nitrogen first are we going to do a double bond between the oxygen yes we are which means we can't actually connect to anything else okay so i think we got to get the oxygen first then we have to go get the nitrogen oh no i've connected because i connect underneath i can't actually i don't think i can get to it can i no that was silly yeah if i do that side as well because it's in the top corner we can't get to it if i go to the oxygen oh we do still we do still have a, a way out but we don't sort of have a way out like if we go over to to go get this which i can't get it anyway it's on the wrong side and we wouldn't be able to get back so what i'm thinking we if we get this oxygen from underneath like that then we can yeah then we can head up this way go there so the nitrogen is now on the top so then when we come around this way we can just go boink double bond to that boosh so then we connect that connect to that that goes around yeah decent mars gets its reddish brown color from the iron oxide molecules on its surface you don't have to go to space to see iron oxide though it's more commonly known as rust i didn't actually know that mars had rust on the surface i thought it was just like some red rock it's actually rust interesting anyway we beat the beaters we're on to the gammas aren't these like working in like the opposite order sort of thing isn't alpha meant to be like the best or the hardest i don't know anyway oh no have we got an extra proton is that what the the positive is and what is that over there is that another proton i feel like i'm using chemical words that i probably can't remember the meanings of anymore <laughs> right okay so what's gonna happen here so our hydrogen plus oh it can't actually connect to that hydrogen maybe until we connect to this so if we go around the top and get it can we then connect to that yes we can but then we're blocked in okay so we could go over there and then we go up and around and then all the way around the bottom grab it there and then is that us done oh no it isn't why is that not us done what are we trying to do here Hang on, let's start again so we pick up the yeah look so you can see we've got like a positive charge like you can see in the background we've got a plus there so when we go past this presumably an electron it then evens out so then we've got a bond so we should just be able to connect to that but it's saying no look there's still like a bond waiting oh hang on look the, the play bar has finished at the bottom hang on so we pick up the electron then we're just like a normal little hydrogen so then we grab that and then we're done oh what the hell it just didn't auto complete stupid game confused me anyway it's time for our fun fact with matt an ion is just an electronically charged atom atoms become charged when they lose or gain electrons positive ions have lost some electrons and negative ions have gained some yeah a level chemistry gets like so complex into like the ion stuff like when you're taught this stuff at school you think like oh yeah this is quite complicated but like i sort of understand it and then like you do a level i kind of even think what like actual blooming like a degree in it would be anyway right same thing here so we've got to go get the electron tell you what i might go up that way grab the electron so now we can connect to like that and then if we come up there we can get that and go into there oh for some reason the levels aren't also completing anymore i gotta press space but presumably they are fine yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that's so confusing. It was auto-completing. Now it's not. Electrons orbit the nucleus of an atom in layers. Atoms are most stable when their outermost orbit is full, which is why so many atoms are keen to lose, gain, or share electrons. And yeah, like, you know you know what they say if, like, if, if an atom loses an electron. Gotta keep an eye on it. Get it? Gotta keep an eye on it. Anyway, ooh, look, our, our oxygen has two protons. So we've got to get two negative charges before we can get both of the hydrogens. I'm thinking we probably need to go to the end first. Then can we go get that one? Yeah, then we've got both. No, then I'm very much trapped. Hang on. If we go through the middle instead. Yeah, then we pick that up. We picked that up. We can then go down to get that. Then as we come up, we can get that one. And then if we go around this way, big big bit of a spiral sorted. I don't remember having to press play at the start, but we do now. But okay. Positively charged ions are called cations. Cations? Cations? And negatively charged ones are called anions. Remember that onions, which sound like anions, make people cry. And that's negative. <laughs> <laughs> that joke was nearly as bad as my one. All right, so another double positively charged oxygen. So what I'm thinking, we probably got to get the, the nitrogen first, right? Because that's got three bonds. If we go to the, yeah, if we go to the others, we're going to get clogged up. So if we go to that, then we've got one of the positives gone. Then we can just go down grab that. Oh no, because then we're double bonded to the nitrogen. Is that okay? Or if I go like that and then that? No, we're still... Okay, okay, it's fine. It's fine. We're double bonded to the nitrogen. Yeah, yeah, because then we got one to connect to the oxygen. And then if we go up and around there like that, we've then connected to the hydrogen as well. So then we can come down and finish. Nice. So grab that, grab that, grab that. Lovely. And also a lovely fact this time, enzymes in saliva break down food to release flavor molecules, which are then detected by your taste buds. A dry mouth that will make your food far less tasty. Anyway, final level of this. Oh man, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of oxygen in it. What is just four oxygen stuck together? It's just like, is it just two O2? No, because they wouldn't connect together, would they? But presumably we can't connect to oxygen. No, we can't. Okay, that's good, I guess. Um, so if we go get that, then we can connect to one, but then we can't connect to that one. No, but if we go down and down there, then our, our previous one has connected. Yeah, we're making like an oxygen chain. Connect to that. I'm then not sure though how this thing works because I'm still I'm still positively charged. Do I actually need to like, do I need to like go get rid of my charge first? So if I do that, that's got rid of my charge. Then we can go through there. Let's press space. So can see we're just a long line of oxygen and then I lose my charge. Oh no, game says no, because we've still got our bond. Oh, okay, so I guess we've got to try and make that like bond and a half thing I was talking about earlier. So I think from this point, I went there last time. What if we go that way so we're facing down? And then I've got to go up like that just to get out the way of everything. So then I can lose my thing. Yeah, look, then we're sort of connected in like a, a bit of a circle. So if we watch this one, hang on, let's just slow it down. So yeah, from there, when we gain our thing, we join in a big loop. See how that worked? Rather than having the two free connections, we've connected to ourselves. Okay, cool. Saliva helps us dissolve food, but pineapples bite back. Yeah, they have like enzymes that attack your mouth or something, don't they? They contain bromelain, which breaks down protective mucus on our mouths. Raw skin plus acidic fruit equals pineapple tingle. And speaking of acid, what do you call acid with an attitude? Amino acid. Get it? Amino? Because he's mean. He's got an attitude. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Anyway, we are gammed up. We're on to the deltas now. And I imagine. Oh no, what's what's going on there? We got like a chocolate layer around us. What does that mean? What does that mean? So we can connect to that with a double bond and connect to that with a single bond. Is that it? So connect to that. Oh, why is it brown? Ugh, why is there a brown line behind us? Oh, they have to finish inside the level, do they? So is, is that what's going on? So if we want to get you inside the level, you all need to face down down uh, oh, or to the side so we could go like that and then oh no then I can't finish the level what if I go oh yeah if I go up first and then down then we can go up that way that's possibly right now so double bond over there bond down for the hydrogen yes despite not knowing why it worked Matt completed the level <laughs> No, ancient civilizations notice the disinfectant power of copper and use it to sterilize wounds and treat drinking water. I didn't know that copper treated drinking water. That's probably why we have copper pipes. That's interesting. Do you know what's also interesting? I like to hear chemistry puns, periodically. Shut up! 
Level two, we've still got the brown stuff. So we've got to keep everything inside. So if we end up there, we need stuff above below. Okay, so basically, we've got to have the carbon in the middle because that's got the four bonds. And then we need a hydrogen around every edge. Now, if I'm this one, I probably need to be at the back, which means I've got to connect that way, right? So then I'm thinking if we come up to there to get that one, we can then go around that way to get that one and then down there to to get that one and then over to there oh keep going one oh no one bit further oh no they're not all the way in <laughs> okay so i've got to be the front one not the back one i did that completely wrong hang on let's just reset right oh yeah is it just that and then that so then we go down that way oh i actually did it i started very poorly i'll give you that but i finished very strongly that was like first time on both my solutions like actually meaning what i wanted to do anyway scientists are genetically modifying cotton to try and produce colored fibers without the need for dye no dyes would mean no need to separate laundry and by the way do you want to do you want to hear a, a joke about nitrogen oxide no no get it no no nitrogen oxide n o no oh that is a good one that was a good one you cannot say that right okay three oxygens two hydrogens i've got to end up there so i don't want anything on my on my right so if we do that we've got that down i could then uh, go up so that's on my left i'm this one okay so i've got to connect to this i can only connect with that piece as well so i'd have to go around okay let's go around then i think that's fine going around and then yeah if i just connect there i've done it so connect to there i don't like that it leaves the brown trail though <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? But yeah, that is that is completed. And then we have a fun fact with Matt. Sunscreens can be physical or chemical. Chemical sunscreen absorbs UV radiation, turning it into heat that can then be released from the skin. I did not know that. I thought it was all like physical, like an actual barrier. That was actually quite interesting. By the way, the police stopped a man for having sodium chloride and a 9 volt in his car. Yeah, he was, he was booked for assault and battery. Make it stop! Right, I'm, I'm running out. I'm running out. I'll give you that much. Oh, <laughs> Oh, we've unlocked Epsilon levels. I'm not actually feeling the, the brown poo ones. Let's go see what they're like. So, oh, oh, can we cross over in the middle? Is that what that is? We've got like a junction. Oh, no, we've still got the brown. Oh, no, but yeah, let's just see. So if we cross over there, we can then cross over. Oh, yeah, we can cross over. That's cool. All right, anyway, I've got an N. I've got to get three hydrogens attached, but I can't have anything poking out the bottom. So if we do you as the top one, then... Oh no, that knocks it off, doesn't it? Actually, I've just realized the, the bottom right one has to be the right one, I think. So yeah, actually, if we go there, get you at the top, then go through this and down so that you're on the right. Then we can go over to here. So you're on the left. And then we just go across the bridge. Boosh, he's only gone and done it. He's only gone and done it. Uh, capsicum and spicy peppers might make humans sweat, but birds are unflappable. Bird digestive tracts simply don't register the chemical and thus do not get that burning sensation. How random. Almost as random as what do you call a clown in jail? A silicon. A silly clown. Right. On that note, guys, I'm going to say peace, love, and chemicals. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>